If you're a man and want to be a father someday, don't even think about peeing in the Amazon waters. Wanna know why? Stay till the end. Our planet is extremely rich in fauna and flora. We can find different species of animals or plants in the most varied places. Visiting the Amazon rainforest is the coveted dream of many nature lovers and wildlife enthusiasts around the world. However, visiting the world's largest rainforest is not without its dangers, as the forest is home to some of the deadliest creatures known to us and perhaps deadliest yet to be discovered. Thus, visitors to the Amazon are advised to be cautious and well aware of their surroundings at all times during their visit to the rainforests. Here we are with the top 10 deadliest monsters of the Amazon. Coming at number 10, Giant Centipede. Also known as the Peruvian Giant Yellowleg Centipede, it is one of the largest centipede species in the world. The creature is about 30 centimeters long and preys on a large variety of animals. Interestingly, the centipede's diet is based not only on other invertebrates, but it can also overpower and kill creatures larger than it in size like lizards, snakes, frogs, mice, bats, and sparrow-sized birds. The centipede's primary weapons for killing prey are a pair of modified legs called forcipules. When fighting their prey they curl around them using their paws and give them fatal bites. The centipede uses the force appeals to penetrate the body of the victim and inject a highly toxic venom into the bloodstream. These killer creatures can even climb the ceilings of caves where they can hold and manipulate their prey like bats with only a few legs attached to the ceiling. Coming at number 9, the Goliath Bird Eater. The biggest spider on the planet, the Goliath Bird Eater spider is the king of spiders. Belonging to the tarantula family and weighing in at up to 170 grams, it is the most massive spider in the world. It can grow to be up to 28 centimeters in diameter, has a fist-sized body, lives in burrows or beneath rocks or roots, in other words, it is an ambush predator, meaning that normally it lies in wait for prey to cross its path rather than hunting food down. It does not as a rule, eat birds, although its name comes from an apocryphal hard to prove or find the source of Victorian era story about it consuming a hummingbird. Nocturnal, this tarantula emerges from its burrow at night, often feasting upon other invertebrates, such as earthworms, beetles and toads. It also eats small rodents, bats, snakes, lizards and rarely bird eggs or young birds. Although venomous with inch-long fangs, the Goliath bird eater's bite will not kill a person. It will however hurt quite a bit and has been described as somewhere between the pain of a wasp sting and hammering a nail into your hand. If you want to feel the sensation right now, go get a hammer, but I recommend not to do it. Coming at number 8, Green Anaconda. The Green Anaconda is pound per pound, the largest snake in the world. Its cousin, the reticulated python, can reach slightly greater lengths, but the enormous girth of the anaconda makes it almost twice as heavy. The green anacondas live in swamps, slow-moving streams, and marshes of the Amazon forest where they remain nearly completely submerged in the water, waiting to strike on the unsuspecting prey that comes to drink water. Although the snakes are sluggish on land, they are sleek and stealthy in the water. Once they catch their prey within their lethal coil, the prey's last moments are near as the snakes suffocate their prey to death. Although no evidence has yet been recorded, the green anacondas have been often labeled as man-eaters with several unverified reports of humans being eaten by these giant snakes existing. Scientists conclude that it is not impossible for an anaconda to consume a human as these snakes eat prey that is tougher and stronger than humans. So if you're the type who likes warm and strong free hugs, my advice is to stay away from that type of hug. Coming at number 7, Bull Shark. While technically saltwater animals, bull sharks feel at home in freshwater too. They've been found as far down the Amazon as in Iquitos, Peru, nearly 4,000 kilometers from the sea. They have special kidneys that can sense the change in water salinity and adapt accordingly. It is common for them to reach 3.3 meters in length and there have been reports of sharks weighing 312 kilograms. Like many sharks, they have multiple rows of sharp teeth and immensely powerful triangular jaws, with a bite force of 589 kilograms. Bull sharks get their name from their short, blunt snout, as well as their pugnacious disposition and a tendency to headbutt their prey before attacking. Although they feed mainly on fish, birds and stingrays, these animals are responsible for the greatest number of shark attacks on humans in river waters. Coming at number 6, Electric Eel. A shocking danger lurks beneath the waters of the Amazon River in Brazil, and here's a fish that encounters aren't usually very pleasant. The electric eel is not a true eel, but actually a knife fish capable of delivering a massive electric shock to those who threaten it. Electric eels can measure up to 3 meters in length and weigh 30 kilos, and they have special muscle cells capable of producing discharges ranging from 300 to 1,500 volts, enough to kill a horse. The most curious thing is that they are like a real battery. The positive pole is at the back of the fish, while the negative is at the front, producing discharges of varying intensities. Thus, the biggest problem occurs when the animal touches the victim with both ends of the body, resulting in more powerful shocks. While one shock is not enough to kill a healthy adult person, multiple shocks can cause heart failure or respiratory failure, 
and it is common for people to be stunned and drown after an eel attack. Many of the disappearances recorded in the region have been attributed to eels that surprise their victims. Fortunately for our species, eels, as carnivores, tend to keep eating fish, amphibians, birds and small mammals. They locate their prey by sending small 10-volt shocks before stunning or killing them with larger shocks. Coming at number 5, Arapaima. Also known as the Piraruku, the Arapaima is an air-breathing fish that plies the rainforest rivers of South America's Amazon basin and nearby lakes and swamps. One of the world's largest freshwater fish species, these giants can grow up to 4.5 meters long and weigh up to 200 kilograms. This South American giant uses a gulper feeding strategy. By opening its large mouth, the fish creates a vacuum that pulls in nearby food objects. Arapaimas survive mainly on fish, but they're also known to eat fruits, seeds, and insects. Fierce predators can also use short bursts of speed to leap out of the water to grab birds, lizards, and even small primates from low-hanging trees. But why are they dangerous? Arapaima is capable of being passive tamed, and when approached will initially act aggressive, trying to headbutt you to knock you out. Search for Arapaima knockout, and please do not try this at home. We know you don't have an Arapaima at home, but when you're close to one do not think of repeating this stupidity. However, it will quickly flee if damaged even slightly. Let me tell you the obvious again, never try to hug an Arapaima in the Amazon rivers, always remember this hint. Coming at number 4, Red-Bellied Piranha. The red-bellied piranhas are one of the most dangerous aquatic inhabitants of the Amazon River Basin. They have a powerful jaw that contains a single row of tightly packed triangular-shaped, interlocking teeth with needle-sharp points. This design allows piranhas to bite down with incredible force and shearing ability. The teeth are capable of slicing through bone. Red-bellied piranha spends most of their time hunting for food-eating insects, worms, snails, fish, plants, seeds and fruit. The presence of blood in the water turns the feeding into a frenzy. Piranhas live in groups called a shoal. These groups can include more than 100 piranhas. It is a popular belief that these fish travel in groups so that they can overwhelm prey in a choreographed feeding frenzy. Scientists, however, think they travel together as a form of protection from predators, according to National Geographic. That's not to say that frenzies never occur. When threatened, the shoal will group and take down the predator. Coming at number 3, Jaguar. The third largest big cat species after the tiger and the lion, the jaguar is a charismatic animal of the Amazonian wilds. The jaguar is an obligate carnivore and is well adapted to kill. The diet of the jaguar is wide and varied and includes at least 87 species. Although humans do not feature in this diet, it is easy for a jaguar to kill an adult human being. The jaguar can actually take about any riparian or terrestrial vertebrate in South and Central America and exhibits a preference for large prey. Adult caimans, capybaras, tapirs, zorros, peccaries, deer, etc., are all potential prey for jaguars. The jaguar is an efficient killing machine that employs suffocation and deep throat bite technique to kill its prey. Another technique unique to the jaguar is biting directly through the temporal bones of the skull and piercing the brain. In the case of caimans, the jaguar leaps onto the back of the prey and severs its cervical vertebrae immobilizing it. For smaller prey like dogs, a simple paw swipe is sufficient enough to kill. One can understand how vulnerable and helpless a human would be in front of this powerful predator. Coming at number 2, Kandaroo. Do you remember when we talked at the beginning of the video about being a father? Here is the main reason for not peeing in water, but first let's know a little more about the also known vampire fish. The list of dangerous creatures that reside in the Amazon River is quite extensive, but of course, not every organism that is dangerous is large in stature. Case in point, the Kandaroo. They are translucent and powerfully fast swimmers, which makes them difficult to spot in the rushing waters. It's about 2.5 centimeters long and has a thin, eel-like appearance. The fish is actually parasitic. In the wild, these fish use spines located on the covers of their gills to attach themselves to the gills of larger fish, including much larger catfish, making them akin to cannibals. From here, the fish happily feeds on the organism's blood. But is it really something to be scared of? I mean, look at the little guy. The gist of the story is that the fish is attracted by human urine in the water. When someone urinates in the water, the fish swims into and lodges itself in the urethra of the unsuspecting individual. Once inside, the fish uses the spines on its gill covers to hold itself in place, which is painful and makes removal difficult. Can only be removed through surgical methods, which may include penis amputation. As I said, remember never to do your physical needs in the waters of the Amazon River. Coming at number 1, Black Cayman. Everyone knows that alligators are aggressive animals that you shouldn't play with, and the Black Cayman is a respectful predator that is not intimidated by other animals. 
Even anacondas will avoid the lakes and swamps the black caimans call home. They don't have the same fear instincts as other animals, so if they want something, they just take it. Make sure you give them a respectful distance so they don't decide they want you. These reptiles can exceed 6 meters in length, weigh over 300 kilos, and feed on any prey they can sink their teeth into, including the occasional unsuspecting human. The black caiman is largely nocturnal and hunts at night. Because of the dark scales, dark water, and dark woods, it is incredibly difficult to spot this animal at night. By the time the prey sees the gleam of their highly specialized eyes, it's too late. In 2010, biologist Dees Nishimura was attacked by a caiman while preparing a fish. She was in her houseboat when she was surprised. The animal ripped one of her legs off, and it is believed that the animal had been living under her house for eight months before the attack. Wanna be the first to know when a new video comes out? Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Our other cool stuff is showing up on the screen right now, so stay there and check out.